Here we present the 5 best bouldering crash pads let's get started with the list. Starting of our list at number 5. Another great budget pad, and while a little bit more expensive than the Metolius, as far as protection is concerned from sharp rocks under a pad, regardless of the height in which you fall from, this makes it value with peace of mind. It can be very stiff, and if you fall from a low height, this can seem a little concerning. But because of its thick 5-inch foam, which has 3 inches of soft open cell foam between two 1-inch closed cell foam layers, the overall thickness of the pads can make it feel a bit stiff, which is great for more rugged journeys giving you that opportunity to give every part of your body a real workout. It can be a bit harder to transport, before the fact that this can be converted into a couch this may provide respite on the most arduous of journeys. Down at number 4. The most appealing component of this pad is its price tag. At $149, this makes it a steal. As far as budget pads are concerned, it's got quite a few great features. But when you test it from high falls, it may not work as well. It's great for low falls, like ones you may experience indoor on a training hangboard. But once you get a little bit higher, you may find your confidence dwindling somewhat. The 4-inch sandwich foam design in its 0.5-inch closed cell ground layer makes it a uniquely layered component. And while it's not completely secure, and does feel somewhat thin, you are best using this for small to medium-sized falls. As far as portability is concerned, it is compact in abundance of gear for any lengthy expedition. For more information check out the description underneath the video. Dot halfway of our list at number 3. If you're looking for a pad that packs easily and works well with rugged landings, this might be the best one out there. Because the foam isn't just one thick layer but consists of small bits, this makes for a very soft feel all round. That being said, it is pretty heavy, weighing in at 18 pounds. But its versatility will make it a welcome addition to any experienced climber. While it's a bulky piece of equipment, the shoulder straps and the waist belt have enough padding so it can be portable for the vast majority of people, but also can give you the option to stick extra gear into it. Notably, the chest strap makes it easier for you to transport. In comparison to a lot of pads on the market, there are many things in the way of features. Nearing the top of our list at number 2. A very innovative piece of closed cell foam, as well as a nice, sleek design, this has a lot to offer the average boulder climber. Transportability is the name of the game with this one, it folds up really well, and it lays out quickly. You can put quite a bit of gear in it, but not in comparison to a lot of the bigger names, and, literally, bigger pads on the market. But you will still be able to store small things like cam units. As the foam pad layers are 1 inch dual density high quality closed cell foam, as well as the soft open cell foam at 3 inches, it gives you a good mixture for those that fall a short distance. As such, it can be questionable with regards to the higher falls. Dot and coming in at number 1 of our list. Yes, while the size is pretty mammoth, as soon as you take a fall onto it, you will realize how much it's worth investing in. And while it's a massive pad that you will have to hike around with, it's pretty portable due to the shoulder straps and waist belt. And due to its large size, it can accommodate a lot of gear, like climbing shoes. You can put a backpack in it. If you are looking for something a bit more on the compact side, there are various alternatives. As far as the protection is concerned, there's a lot of foam that provides great cushion regardless of the height in which you fall from. For more information check out the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching our video, for more updates subscribe to our channel.